on this Pearl Harbor Day. I uh, mentioned that before. We are going to talk about what we've had so far. And in Spokane, over an inch of rain, uh, Coeur d'Alene has been a little drier, but not by much. But look at Deer Park. Uh, two and a quarter inches. That's a lot. And then we talked about areas south of I-90. Uh, Pullman, only 18 hundredths, not even a quarter of an inch. So uh, there has been wet weather, but it's, again, been isolated. Today, on this Thursday, uh, the best chance of rain is going to be middle of the day. Um, we're going to see that build up. It's going to be light rain showers, then it's taper off. Now, rain chance over the next five days, Sunday. Now, that's saying 70% chance, but it's not going to be rain in the fact that well, we're going to see temperatures at freezing. So um, we look at the forecast rain for our day today. And again, about a tenth of an inch, 14 hundredths into Coeur d'Alene. We'll add to that a little bit. But it will be throughout uh, Friday. Then we're going to see things switch over to snow, certainly in the higher elevations. And that's what we're going to be tracking right now. That forecast snow, um, it's really going to be a Thursday night tonight into tomorrow, maybe two inches in Coeur d'Alene, mid-level, 3,000 feet, uh, heavier amounts along I-90 as you cross over, 12 inches in Kellogg. That's going to be great news as we look at those ski areas that have lost quite a bit by Saturday night. We're still going to have a little bit. It's Saturday night into Sunday that we see that snow, and you can see it there, uh, 35, Sunday 34, but overnight lows to 29. It's perfect temperature for making snow. All right, hopefully some gains into the ski areas and that you're safe. We'll continue to keep you up to date.